More shoppers swarmed malls, market common and retail stores to start off the holiday season last weekend than years prior spending more money, too. We probably spent around maybe $600. The increase would typically be welcome news to food pantries and nonprofits like Toys for Tots. Usually, this is the busiest time of year for their donations. Check out some Toys for Tots donations from years past. Each year, News Channel 15 holds a toy drive for the charity. So far, this is the little bit of donations we've received. But as of this point last year, as of Monday of this week, the Monday after Thanksgiving last year, we had almost 20,000 toys collected. They're not the only ones. United Way, which funds more than 40 area charities, is hard up this year too. They say it's the economy that's still hitting hard. We've seen a little bit of a decline. Currently in our campaign, we're a few percentages lower than we were last year at this time. And some of our agencies doing the Christmas assistance are a little bit lower than where they were at this time last year with presents coming in. Shoppers we talked to agreed. And then at the end of the day, if you don't have any extra money, I guess that's why it doesn't end up filtering down to charities. People maybe just want to spend money on themselves and, and not give so much to charity this year. I think people are spending more money on themselves um, for their families and their children and just don't have the money to help out. In Myrtle Beach, Lindsay Thies, News Channel 15.